Hello everyone, and welcome to Speak On Online! So, here we are with Untitled Goose Game as the first game of the schedule. Uh, this marathon uh, is benefiting Save the Children, uh, remember, uh, which is an amazing cause, and you can find the link to donate below the stream. Uh, so here we are now with Rickled, uh, ready to take up the game, so uh, how about you take it over from here? Thank you, thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Rickled and I'm honored to be, uh, to be the opener of Speedcon line. Cool name. 2022. I'm joined by a good friend of mine who will also be later in the marathon. Fearful. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Have you ever played on Talat Goose game before? Me? No way. I don't. Okay. okay. So, in that case, I'm going to show you what this game is like in three, two, one. Honk. I should have said that at the same time. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Anyway, we are a terrible goose, and we can duck, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> what do you know about the game, other than being a terrible goose is fun? No. A little bit of a prankster. Prankster? Yeah, yeah. We're we're gonna see just that. So it will I not be. Man's best friend, that's for sure. <laughs> no, 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 I will. Anyway, this is the 100% category, meaning that we have to do every single task in the in the like the little notebook that the goose has somehow. So right now uh, we're in the garden, which is the first area, and I'm gonna play with our good friend uh, Rod. We call him Willy because uh, groundskeeper Willy from The Simpsons. That's not his official name. But the community, uh, they're, they're a bunch of jokers in the, the best sense. Anyway, there are three different types of tasks. And unfortunately, I dropped one of my uh, things here. All the things that I do might seem a little bit arbitrary. But those are like the... the... Hello? You are not allowed? Oh, you are... Okay, you know what? This is, this is already going terrible. Okay, please... Please. One of the things that I need to do is lock him out. Which is going to happen in just a little bit. Yeah, the normal tasks. The hidden tasks that, that only will be given to you after you like complete the game once. So you might see the credits in the middle of the run. Kind of weird. But it's okay. And right after that... Uh, the quick tasks, and I say right after that, but that's actually what I'm going to do right now. Because from starting up the game and every reset that I will be doing, a an internal timer will happen. And that timer will come uh, down from 7 minutes. And after 7 minutes, those uh, bell chi will chime, uh, like the church bells will chime. And I need to complete... To complete a uh, like a whole area within that time or before that time. To reset those, I do need to like reset the whole game a little bit. More on that later. So it is easy to l do like all of them at the same time, or as most of them, like in their own time. However, I'm going to bundle the second and the third area together, so I can take it a little bit easier, like. During this area, but the next area is definitely gonna be. I need to. I need to play on my best. We call it two reset. There has been, uh, or people are using a one reset route. But yeah, 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 yeah. So this is a small setup. I placed the flower right there, then activated the water, then put the jam right there. So right after, like doing or fixing the water he's going to check into where the jam is then he's gonna return back to the flower and replant the flower and it puts it in the best time frame that i can steal his hat steal his hat hello yeah i mean it is pretty so oh it is pretty sunny uh today i would say oh this is unfortunate normally he doesn't see me here so i am gonna no 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 you're gonna fix the water again. 
I had this perfect in practice just before the... Just before anything. But hey, that doesn't matter. So some of those tasks that I had to do today was uh, the picnic. That's the big one. We have to get a lot of items to put them here on the picnic uh, blanket. Uh, rake in the lake, make the groundskeeper carry a new, uh, a new hat. And... Oh, and steal his key. So that is the first area that we're almost done with. After completing all but one of the normal tasks, the final task will happen, which is this one. Uh, and final task will actually make it so that you can uh, go to the, the next area. So that is Willy. He heard his thump. I stole his key. That is in, uh, important to know for that his AI will be a little bit different. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to lure him with me to the next area. Because one of the tasks is uh, make make uh, someone buy his own thing back. However, the... Uh... Yes, you. Yes, you. Look at me. Look at me. No. I really hope that worked. That worked. Okay, cool. But one of the hidden tasks, which mostly are like inter-area, so you have to go from one area with one item with another item from the second area, is to make someone buy from another area buy his own item back. And I'm basically doing two things in one in one go. And then this is Timmy. Timmy is cool. However, Timmy is being bullied by, by a goose, as you can see. So don't forget to donate to make sure that we can like replace the goose somewhere else and have a better environment for Timmy. But not before bullying Timmy a little bit more. I want him locked up inside of a phone booth. Poor okay. Timmy. Yeah, poor Timmy. And I'm going to put this, uh, this airplane here. Uh, can you, can you please grab your... Miss, miss, I want to break your broom. So just right after bullying Timmy, I did, as you saw, reset the area to reset the bell turn times. That's, uh... Spent a little bit too much time. I'm going for a free reset today. Two reset already is like super duper. Uh, what, what what's the word I'm searching for? Tight. I do see Chibi in chat, a runner from like way back when. I agree. One reset isn't marathon safe, and two reset already is pulling it, but it's not. Not the worst thing. But yeah, just for sa just for safety. <clears throat> so one of the tasks is give Timmy different glasses. Shout out to Timmy. He has... He might be in better glasses, but that's me. Hmm. One Rick, it's not nice to pick on Timmy all the time. Okay, okay. Fine. In, 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 instead, oh. Instead, Timmy has to buy his own plane back. I know that I kinda already did that with uh, Willy. Hmm. However, uh, after you reset, everything kinda resets in the area, so you have to do that for the, uh, the quick task. And now, while that animation is going on, that animation takes really long. I'm like gathering up a lot of things. Every area in the game has like one big gather task. Hello. One big gather task, which takes a lot of time. So in Glitchless, for example, that one gets like skipped a lot. I also just locked up uh, both the lady as well as Timmy inside the garage. Both of them are a final task as well as a gathering task. Or a, a, a hidden task, sorry. Also, don't forget the poop paper. Poop paper is important. 
Alright. Let's go shopping. Oh, uh... You got this thing, you got this thing. And that, that was, yeah, that's the two, first two areas of From Down to Goose Game. There's a lot happening. Also, I'm a goose, and I'm gonna, like, half clip in here. Yeah. So that if I now respawn, I will actually spawn a little bit closer. There. So, welcome into the back gardens. We only have two NPCs here. We have Roger. And we have, uh, Tina. Roger is the nice neighbor. He got, got everything looking like re re really sharp and whatnot. Uh, actually. Can I, like, thank you? I'm hiding these items from him. Because that newspaper takes up a lot of time. Access pipe. <laughs> yeah. There. I, I I did just clip some items through the uh, the fence. Like, no no issues there, right? That that's completely normal. Okay. Yeah, like every goose does. <laughs> and this is Tina. She's a messy neighbor because her. Well, I wanted to say her garden is like a complete mess, but it isn't. Okay, uh, so what now? He saw the- he saw the newspaper. That is- that is completely bad. So I hit those items behind- behind the fence, which, uh... Oh, no. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna make sure that this is, like, out of reach. This is all completely, like, improvised. I'm so sorry. So, he- he can't reach it there. Let, let, let's- let's do that again, shall we? Hopefully he doesn't see me. Okay, th th this is, this, I want to say perfect, but perfect, yeah. She does have a toilet in her yard, but that's like artsy. So, uh, Tina dressed up this bust. Oh, oh! Right on time. Right on time, yeah. So the whole reason why the newspaper got stolen is because the, um, the, the, What's the name? Roger has like two different things he can do. He can drink tea or read the newspaper. Newspaper takes like super long. But by hiding it, we get a shorter animation, which is good. So, Tina, please follow me. Because I want you to dress me up as that duck statue that I kidnapped. However, she she can tell the difference between a duck statue and a goose, which is fun. Oh, I just thought of something. I did the glitchless route. Oh well. So I'm gonna do the bell again, because what I want here is for Mr. Roger to be a little bit distracted. So that he uh, doesn't see me actually walking past him with... Uh, with the soap. There we go. Oh, we get rid of the, the bow. Even though I look like extremely handsome with that bow on. It is bad luck for Roger to see me later. So I'm, I'm just gonna make him see me now. In the meantime, the gather task right here is to like wash a little bit. Do a little wash. So I'm stealing yeah, the... Saturday is washing day, of course. Yeah. Saturday is washing day, agreed. Uh, people are free th this this point in time. So stealing her socks, her bra, and a shoe together with the soap. Can I explain the priority hierarchy? I, I can definitely do that. So the, the art of speedrunning this game is knowing all the NPCs. Okay, gonna open that thing again. And every NPC in this game has a uh, 
priority thing. For example, you saw that Tina was about to like uh, clip the rose. However, her most important thing in life is closing this gate. And now I'm luring her to the north so that she uh, will open the gate to the next area and we can carry on with our lives. Please open, please open. Yeah, she has like, or every NPC has like, this is the most important thing. She will always do that and then, and then this and then that and then that. And just like knowing the NPCs and playing with them is like integral to like speed running this game. I'm also taking this pass into this house. Complete sidetrack. This is a way, like an alternative way of breaking oh. that fast. Roger is supposed to do it because Roger's priority is every item that is not his, he will throw over the fence. You will see more about that later, actually. And this is the last reset of the game. Because this is also the last area, the pub. The pub is nice. Do you go to the pub, Fearful? Not recently. Well, me not at all, so I guess we're same on that. However, here is Mr. Uh, Mr. His face, Mr. Finny, we call him. Finny, he really doesn't want us in here. So I un un undid his shoes. And he's gonna like tie his shoes now and he's gonna try and find us where, where I was last. And after that, he will give up. Uh... Yeah, he, he will give up. Oh, that that is not good. He saw me. Or that might actually be good. Never mind. So one of the tasks is throw the beer glass in the water and drop it in the canal. All good. This is good because both of, both of these NPCs don't want me in the pub and on top of the deck respectively. So now I have like all the time in the world to do my little master plan. One of the tasks in here is getting the little toy boat. However, getting that boat takes like 20 seconds of time for the... Uh, the top to fill before we can even grab it. So, turning that on, throwing down all of the cutlery because we have to set the table. There. That is like just enough time for all the four main ingredients that I need. And don't worry about what you're gonna see now. I'm just gonna clip through the, this wall and I'm going to look at Old Man because I need to do two things with Old Man and he's not going to like it. Believe me on that. So, he's going to play darts right now. I'm going to stay here. Because I do need to like walk around uh, a few times. But I think walking around one time is going to be negative for me. Do we therefore have time for a quick message? Yeah, go for it. Thank you so much. Uh, I wanted to remind everyone uh, that Speedcon Online 2022 is uh, raising money for Save the Children, uh, which is an amazing cause. And even for small amounts of money, you can make uh, a really important impact. For instance, for just $10, you can provide high nutrient peanut paste to a malnourished child for 10 days. That is absolutely amazing. And if you want to have even more impact with your donation, you might see, I just posted in the chat earlier, uh, an exclamation mark bids. Uh, and you can actually see there uh, that there are multiple bids available for this marathon, with the uh, soonest that we've got being for a character name for Pokemon Blue. So uh, definitely get your donations in, uh, and let's make this marathon an amazing one. Thank you. I agree with that message. Make sure, that, make sure that old man doesn't see my little woolen hat that I stole from old man. I set up the table just like uh, Lady and the Tramp, I think that movie is called. You know, with the spaghetti kiss between the two dogs. Oh yeah. There, I'm, I'm going to do a shout out to Phil Trout because he always just emptied this basket with the tomatoes. <laughs> oh no, 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 I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Finny needs to stay in this area. Oh, uh, that, that is kind of weird what he's doing now, but sure, whatever. 
Filter out, it's also an old goose runner. There. And the last, final state, final thing here is throw the, the bucket on the burly man's head. And I made a speedrunner out of him. Tomato anus. I'm so sorry for that joke. <laughs> anyway, he's uh, he's gonna kick me out, kinda. Even though I kicked myself out. And we're at the final area. Cool. One more hidden task that you shouldn't know about. Sail the boat on the bridge. And I'm gonna use Little Timmy. Little Timmy is a, uh, yeah, what do you call it? It's a statue. This is a miniature village. To skip a little bit. And instead of breaking down the castle, I'm gonna use Little Timmy here to nav or levitate like up. Oh. I was a little bit late with pressing that button. But I can fly. All the way up here, which is a little bit faster than breaking down the place. Can I? It is kind of awkward, but whatever. I got the bell. After grabbing the bell, the whole world changes. And I have to like go through every area to basically go back home. However, on maybe day two of speedrunning this game, we found a glitch already. That we can just like clip through this fence. Like, you, you see that lock up there, but we can just, like, go through, and we're basically back home. So I could joke, get ready on time, but we still have, like, a lot of hidden tasks that we need to do. So in the meantime, uh, wings out for Goose. And if there are any other messages, now is the perfect time to do so. Indeed, indeed. Uh, so, um, in terms of uh, other bits, in case I might have attracted your attention, uh, we do have uh, quite a few coming out. So, I mentioned earlier there was uh, the Pokemon Blue a character named Bidwar. Uh, there is also a renamed Tidus incentive of Final Fantasy X. Uh, there is also Illusion of Gaia Randomizer uh, Boss Shuffle incentive as well. Uh, this one definitely sounds interesting. Um, and even uh, on tomorrow, there's even more of them that you definitely want to check out. So, like including the uh, Farland Bidro for Fire Emblem Three Houses. Uh, so, there's definitely a lot of value you can get uh, out of your donations. And that's beyond the fact that it's just an amazing cause to donate for. Uh, because even if you want to donate even a single dollar, uh, even that can provide four children with treatment against pneumonia, which is a life-threatening illness. So every donation counts, and it's absolutely amazing the power that it can have. So let's keep it going. For sure. So welcome in the post game. And the post game is, uh, well, all the hidden tasks. And the biggest one is grabbing a flower from every area and bringing it to the middle of the, of the whole game. In that basket. That, I don't know if you actually saw it, but there's a flower in every stage. This is the only one we actually interacted with. But yeah, there's more. And some other, some other minor things. And they're all like inter-area. We have to go to like all the other different areas. But oh well. In the meantime, um, I also want to like point out that tomorrow, other than my own run of Ape Escape Free... There's another one that I will be uh, helping with commentary with uh, Fearful over here. Indeed you will. GTA San Andreas Definitive Edition. Or... Oh, I, I forgot the most important thing. I need to drop Timmy. Because if Timmy falls to the floor... No, no, no. If Timmy drops to the floor, he will drop his glasses. Because I and I need these glasses. There. Uh, what, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna break this broom and then steal the flower and bring that back. And have some other fun things. 
Anyway, that run um, is pretty interesting because it's not like an actual game run. It is 69 out of 70 unique stun jumps. And most of those are in areas where you're not even allowed to be in. So if you think speedrunning was like had a lot of pressure on you, imagine doing that with four stars of police around you. Indeed, it will be very interesting. Very I stressful. Hope, uh, for very funny moments. And yeah, no run will be like another, especially in this category. Especially in the game, honestly. I'm also a Grand Theft Auto speedrunner. And, like, one of the reasons wh why Grand Theft Audio is just so fun is, like, everyone is different and every run dies differently. There's just, as, like, random, a random NPC that just, uh... Yeah. Little just... Runs can die to like the weirdest things that you don't even have control over. Opposed to this game where uh, you have all the control over it. So currently, this is maybe one of the w the best things about this whole game. We get to play football. Or the US known as soccer. And even though... Is that today? No? Monday is the first match, I think, from uh, the World Championship in uh, wherever. In Qatar. In Qatar, yeah. It is. So I, I guess we're, I guess we're ready. And running behind this ball is maybe one of the worst things of the game. That is not true. There are worse things that we're gonna see in a little bit. Uh, actually, I'm just gonna put these glasses in here. Yeah, it's so not good. But yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we got the we got the football in here, and what I'm trying to do, and I already failed. Nice, is make Roger throw the ball first, and then the glass a second. Because one of the hidden things is to make sure that this bust is dressed up. Uh, how dressed up? Dressed up with, like, all items from outside. Also, I have no clue what Roger is doing. Roger. Roger. He's looking oh. at his destroyed fence and not at the ball. The ball also is kind of interesting. I I should have hidden the, the fake goose. We do still have the final boss, but that's a spoiler. Oh no. Oh. Okay, you stay up there. Up up of the hill, of, as some runners like to say. And what I need is to be sexy. So I'm gonna ask for Tina to put the bow on me. Oh, actually, just... She really needs you uh, to have that nice thing on. I think she needs new glasses to not uh, switch you with the plastic uh, with, duck. With the duck, yeah. The, the porcelain duck. Yeah. So I just actually chipped uh, on top of the bush so that she's going to fix it. And by accident gonna uh, clip the rose so I can take the rose which is the other flower that I wasn't really talking about and take that to the basket and the fastest way is to clip through but not the easiest one clips sometimes don't work yeah I think of this category this is the hardest clip not the hardest clip of the game I think going uh, in reverse area order there's a way harder clip there also, we go. yeah. Also, that sock clip that I performed. There's an easier setup, but I don't like it. And that's also a relatively difficult one. Okay, this box that I put here uh, at the start. I'm finally gonna get some uh, some use out of that. I'm kind of sad that Finny isn't here. 
But I'm gonna perform for these ladies. Oh, this is this is bad. Oh, this is not gonna be bad. Okay. I'm gonna yeah. I performed. They're gonna be super happy, and I now got a flower. Nice catch. Yeah. Thank you. And now I need Mr. Uh, Speedrunner over here to um, get out of the way. Oh, perfect. Nice. Uh, getting this a little bit more outside. The thing here is that uh, Roger actually gets aggroed by... Gets aggroed by the, the flower, but not by this hat. So I'm trying to go out with the flower first. And since he doesn't care about the old man's hat, I mean, that's only his customer. Yeah. Anyway, this is what the runners would call the final box. Or final boss, whatever you want to call it. For the reason that this bridge has some really weird collision. But I got over that. The stairs are also awful. I'm just going to slide the last flower. Uh, past all those roses. I got that task. And now I'm going to... Go all the way to the back and listen to some, I'd say listen to some sweet tunes, but the audio usage in this game is very, very minimal. As you might hear, there's some uh, honks every now and then. One thing that's actually banned that I'm just going to use it now is binding honking to scroll wheel. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Remember that I said that foot that the football is like one of the worst things? This is the worst thing. This box is like two pixels less white than the opening here, meaning it's really difficult to get this box through. And not not by your fault. So I'm gonna push it out, then push it back in. And if need be. On the side. Okay. Eh, almost. Almost. Uh, yeah. I need. I need to lose the items that are in here. Okay. <laughs> oh. 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 Maybe. Oh, I, I can solve this. I can solve this. Okay. So the box is in. Since I'm not really on a like a super time limit, what's my estimate here? 35 minutes. Oh, shame to say, but that is uh, that is challenging. Is it? No, it's not. It's not. You will be fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. I'm also a wiggly box, and if you know your Metal Gear Solid, then that is what happened just now. I got thrown over the fence. Only way that that works. And now, I need to catch an item thrown over the fence. There, catch an object. There's one more item that needs to get in. In the meantime, I have some time to play with the football. Play with the football? Oh. Uh, yeah, j just roll downstairs. And then the last foreign object to be on top of this boss's hat is the old man's hat. Unfortunately, if you go through that fan, through that fence, you will lose your bow, so you're automatically less uh, sexy. And then the last thing that we need to do: score a goal. And if you did everything correctly, the HL straps. Yep. If you do all of that, a reward is waiting for you at home. I'm so happy that the community decided. And I was a big advocate of it back in the day. To instead of like whenever that message pops up, that is a good like place to stop. However, you do get a reward and you can do something with that reward. And we as community just decided that having that reward on top of your head is the end. And with it comes some speedrunning uh, tricks still. Because I'm actually grabbing this radio. Hello, hello. And I'm actually luring him all the way up here. Oh, uh, th this should be good. 
So Willy is going to lose that object from his sight. He will be uh, kind of confused. Then he will go back, turn off the water. And because I actually dropped the radio and turn it back on again, he will hear that from so far away that Willy will actually go to it. And that gives us just enough time to grab this crown and yeah, go, go back. So if I'm right, he will be there either stupidly looking at the radio because it's just out of sight or outside out of range or he grabs it and he walks back. And just like I said, so time stops in once he doesn't kick me away. Now time. And that is a sub 34 in my book or sub 35. Woo. GG's. Th thank you. Thank you. So yeah, we got the crown. We are, oh, he doesn't like this. And I guess that is everything content wise in Goose Game, Untitled Goose Game. If you think, hey, I can do that better, which a lot of people could because this was a not so good performance. Join us in the Goose Discord. We're all fun fit. We're, yeah, we're all like super fun. We also have shorter categories like any percent, which is three minutes on a bad run. Which is literally just you go to the end, grab the bell, and you go back. You, you get any percent but glitchless. One where you only do like all the main tasks uh, and subcategory extensions, including stealth percent where you try really go like Metal Gear Solid or all items where you grab every item in the game and push it into your home. But yeah, uh, that's that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Fearful, for hanging out. No problem, friend. You're going to see both of us tomorrow again. And yeah, I'll leave it up to Pika. All right. Thank you, Rikult, uh, for your run. Uh, and what a great opener to the marathon that was. Uh, but the action is definitely still ongoing. So everyone stay tuned because we'll be right back after a short intermission with Metroid Prime Glitch, uh, Glitchless. Yes, that's correct. Metroid Prime Glitchless by Dragolina. So stay tuned and we'll be seeing you very soon.